So Sadiq, we just got off uh, two exciting days of presentations here uh, at CREB. Uh, we had sold out performances um, by yourself uh, coming in from Vancouver, talking to uh, crowds about uh, programmatic uh, digital display advertising. I know it's a mouthful. Mm -hmm. Let's break it down. I mean, the way I interpret it is that you can program where your ads go online. Am I correct? Yes. Essentially, you can define what criteria you want to reach. So for example, let's say you're operating in downtown Calgary and you want to reach you know, the 20-something-year-olds who are looking to purchase their first property. So that's a criteria, that's an that's a audience persona, for example, that you really want to hit. Um, those audience sets are available in the uh, programmatic world. You can define who your audiences are, you can define what websites you want to run on, and you can define the geography that you need to run on. And all of that, that can be done pretty easily. And that's what's really attractive, mm -hmm. and that's why you know, programmatic advertising as a medium is growing you know, three to four times uh, year over year. You know, if you're still stuck in the old ways of marketing, for example, if you're still doing, you know, bus benches and traditional media, and that's all you're doing today, you're missing out on a huge opportunity to reach people in those moments of, you know, importance when they are looking for, you know, real estate services in the neighborhoods that you're operating out of. What about remarketing? I hear it a lot. I think I've probably experienced it when I've gone to Amazon and tried to buy something. Um, in layman's terms, break it down for me. So essentially, um, you as an advertiser are marketing yourselves in a number of different ways. And it's, um, the point being is that you want to be able to get people to come to your website because that shopping experience, that purchase decision starts with people coming to your website. That's the first point of contact, regardless if you're selling a product, a service or anything. So say you're a realtor and you're running you know, bus benches, you're running you know, some print advertising, you're doing a little bit of radio, maybe some digital, some Facebook, and you get all these people coming to your website. And let's say you've got somebody in you know, a neighborhood that you're working out of um, looking for a realtor, but they don't have a realtor that they worked with, so they're shopping around. So they, you know, they're driving by, they see a bus, a bus bench, uh, maybe they're on Facebook, uh, based on their search results, Facebook serving them one of your ads. Uh, but your competition is also doing the same thing. So if you don't have a remarketing campaign running, and if you've got someone who visited your website, and you don't have an opportunity to re-engage with them, and if your competition is running remarketing campaigns, there's a greater chance that your competition is going to be able to win that person as a customer, at least. Yeah. Question. Um is digital advertising for everyone? Based on where most people are spending time today, based on the fact that you know, we, we spend virtually most of our time online, whether it's used on our desktops, on our tablets, and on our mobile devices, um, as a starting point, I'd ask every realtor to look at, you know, what is their marketing mix today? At the very minimum, you need to be having you know, some form of search and social advertising. And I think a lot of you know, clients that I talk to look at it marketing and advertising as a cost. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's an investment that's going to help them build their business. So it is a, you know, it is something that I highly recommend to everybody. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing with digital campaigns is you do get that data at the end of the campaign. And on the flip side, if I love digital advertising so much, should it be the only thing I do? I've never believed in having that, you know, sort of a single vein of marketing. I think you need to look at you know, where your audiences are, what are you trying to do, who you're trying to reach. And digital marketing may not always be that answer, but it should be part of, part of your overall ecosystem. So um, the nice thing with digital, it's flexible. You get the data, you can adjust your campaigns on the fly, um, and you can test. You can test different theories. Wow.